This is video of a Metro Detroit man getting off a DDOT bus in 2015. Just as he gets his bike off the bike rack on the front of the bus, the bus driver starts driving and hits him. The driver, Geraldine Johnson, immediately realizes what happened. The passenger, Joey Davis, is killed. Fast forward eight years, Geraldine Johnson is charged with hitting and killing a pedestrian, Janice Bauer. Johnson was behind the wheel of a DDOT bus. So the court does find you, you to be a danger. The question everyone is asking, why was Johnson allowed to keep her job as a city bus driver after hitting and killing Joey Davis? Attorney James Harrington represented Davis's family in a lawsuit against the city. It's absolutely unacceptable, should not be tolerated, and this should have been prevented. She should have been taken off the road after the Joey Davis incident had the uh, the city done its job. The city of Detroit settled that case out of court for $4.5 million, which takes us back to Geraldine Johnson and her driving record in the years following Davis's death. That there have been crashes either with a bus or your personal vehicle in 2018, two in 19, one in 20, one in 21, one in 22, and then we have this matter today. The city of Detroit declined our repeated requests for an interview, instead choosing to release this statement saying, quote, since this terrible accident occurred two weeks ago, we have been engaged in a full review of Ms. Johnson's record and of all related departmental policies and procedures. Once that review is completed, we will be better positioned to respond to questions about her driving and employment history with DDOT. Following the accident, Ms. Johnson was terminated. What we have seen in this case is an absolute failure and a betrayal of trust that we place in government. Now we have reached out to Janice Bauer's family. They declined to comment on camera. They say this has been an absolute nightmare for them. Meanwhile, of course, now Geraldine Johnson off the job now, but it will be interesting to see what happens and what the city has to explain as far as why was she able to be working all these years after the Joey Davis incident. And then here we are with another tragedy. For now, we're live. Camila Mary, Fox 2 News.